But the other part is we need to get people that are currently not in our workforce and get them into the workforce. But as an attorney, a federal judge has ruled that the state of Kentucky can't do this. Yeah, do with the work requirements. The I, I think the work requirements are important because let me, let me talk about what, what we're addressing. Uh, when Obamacare expanded Medicaid, that added about 160 to 170,000 people in the state of Iowa that are getting free health care in the state of Iowa based on their income level. It's not based on a disability like it was in the past. It's based solely on income level. And um, what we're saying is if you're an able-bodied adult, you don't have substance abuse problems, you don't have a child at home, you're not in school, and you're getting free health care and benefits in the state of Iowa, we need you to work. We need you in the workforce. We need you, uh, the businesses need you, our economy needs you, the other taxpayers need you, and so we need to encourage those people to work. And you're right, the, the, fe uh, the federal court in the eastern side of the U.S. did strike down the Kentucky law, but this is a conversation that the administration in D.C. is asking us to have. They're, they're asking states to do this, and I think it's a discussion that we need to have as a country uh, whether we want people that are on our welfare system to get into the workforce. But if we can do that, if we can bring people out of the, their, out of the welfare programs and into the workforce, it changes their life. It changes their kids' life, it changes the trajectory of their entire family, and that's what this is about.